Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you step by step how to connect your Fitbit Versa from one smartphone to another without losing any installed app on your Fitbit Versa starting right now. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, how-to videos, DIY tutorials and much more. We have a dedicated playlist with 71 plus videos for Fitbit Versa. Be sure to check it out. Alright guys, let me brief you about the whole process quickly before I show it to you. In order to connect your Versa from one phone to another without losing any apps, games or clock face paid or free which you have already installed on your Versa, here is what you need to do. Do not erase, factory reset or delete your Versa from the Fitbit app of your phone already connected. If you do so, you will lose all the installed data on your Fitbit Versa. So all I did was just put my phone, that is the Galaxy S10 Plus on airplane mode, so it does not connect to Versa via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Then on the newer phone, in my case, it'll be my wife's Galaxy S10, install the Fitbit app from the Google Play Store, log in with your Fitbit account. If you do not have one, sign up for for it then turn on the bluetooth and wi-fi make sure the phone is connected to 2.4 gigs of wi-fi network as the versa does not connect to 5g wi-fi connection and the rest i'll show you live on the phone my wife has her fitbit charge 2 connected already so in this video i will show you how to pair a versa on top of another fitbit device which is cool so that being said you can switch between fitbit smart trackers as needed so go on the account section of fitbit app where you will find the watch already connected in my wife's case it's the charge 2 and right underneath it is the setup device icon go ahead and click it the next page will be the list of all the Fitbit devices. Select the Fitbit Versa and click Setup Fitbit Versa. Next, click on the I agree button to agree uh, to their terms and conditions. The next screen will be the instructions like the whole process will be 30 minutes which only took about 10 minutes for me. Keep the Versa charging throughout which as you can see I have done it already and ensure a reliable Wi-Fi network is available that does not require browser authentication. That means just do not um, you don't do it in the public Wi-Fi hotspot. Click next and it will prompt to put your Versa in the charging brick. Now, now your phone will start looking for available Versa and it will find it. Once done, your Versa will pop up a four digit code which you can enter on your phone and the phone will start connecting to the watch and you will see a green tick mark once your watch is connected. Next screen will be the setup Wi-Fi on your Versa. Once you click next, you will get option to set up later or connect to an existing Wi-Fi network and my wife will just try to connect to our home Wi-Fi network. Once done, it will prompt to try the watch on, at which point you can take the watch out of the brick. Fitbit now has shown how to change the band by a small animation after which there will be a brief intro about gestures on Versa and that's it you're all set. Now you will see your Versa along with the charge too. Let me show you that we haven't lost any installed apps or clock face during the entire process. So that's it for today's video guys if you are looking for awesome accessories for your Fitbit Versa I have linked our Amazon storefront in the description down below where you will also find our collection of paid and free custom made clock face as well as link to try Amazon Prime for absolutely free.
be sure to check it out and also check out our playlist at the end of this video where you'll find 71 plus videos for Fitbit Versa and I'm sure you will like it. Comment down below if you were able to connect your Versa on another phone and how was your experience. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.